And now, Boca Raton's number one rated news station, the Don Estridge Network brings you news, weather, sports, and more. Welcome to the Dragon's Den. I'm Cherry Levelo here with Drew Strocha. Today is Monday, May 14th, 2007. Please stand now for the Pledge of Allegiance. Dragon's Den once again honors the victims of the Virginia Tech Massacre. Here's Elena Tam. Good morning, Don Estridge. Today the Dragon's Den remembers Daniel O'Neill and Juan Ortez. Daniel Patrick O'Neill, 22, was a graduate student from Lincoln RI whose twin passions were music and engineering. He studied civil engineering as an undergraduate at Lafayette College in Pennsylvania, where he graduated in the top 10% of his class before enrolling at Virginia Tech to pursue a degree in environmental engineering. He was also a member of the school's art society and a star cross country runner. In addition to excelling in class, on stage and on track, he taught friends how to play guitar, wrote and sang his own songs, and recorded his own music. The Dragon's Den remembers Daniel Patrick. Juan Ortez, someone who found joy in everything he did. Be it civil engineering or studying for a final, his perpetual happiness showed. This year he majored in civil engineering. On the college steps in 2001, he met the beautiful Lizelle Vega Cortez, and they were married in October. In 2003, they transferred to Virginia Tech University. Both were looking for a quiet place to study. The couple enjoyed the programs offered at this school. To all the Ortez family, friends, and peers, the Dragon's, Dragon's Den offers sincere sympathy and best wishes. Thank you and have a good day. Friday was, Virgin was Virginia Tech's graduation. Nine students from the massacre were awarded their diploma. Here's more on that from CBS News. Virginia Tech. Hello. <laughs> Parents take pictures and fuss with tassels. They are the lucky ones. <laughs> Others will never have a graduation picture of their child. 27 students were killed in the attack here less than a month ago. Some are here in spirit. This afternoon, nine graduate students were awarded their diplomas posthumously. Julia Kathleen Pride. Each student remembered not only for the work they did, but for what they aspired to do. Julia planned on teaching in college, doing research, and working to create pure water and sustainable agriculture in the Andes. <laughs> Jeremy Michael Herbstreet. His career goal was to get into environmental work and was currently involved in research on the West Nile virus. Just as telling as the faces of the parents who lined up to accept their children's degrees, Daniel Patrick O'Neill. The fact that some families could not bear to set foot on campus. Instead, professors accepted their diplomas. It was a day of contrasts, somber at one moment, celebratory the next. Paige Burrell managed to smile as she walked from the stage. But as she walked through campus, it was tougher. Her mom, Lisa. You feel like a split personality because half your heart is so excited and so full of joy. And um, half your heart <laughs> is with a family so kids that didn't make it. And, and you just carry that with you all the time. Later today, the school plans to give class rings and diplomas to the rest of the victim's relatives. Hard-earned degrees for students that are even harder for parents to accept. Sharon Alfonsi, CBS News, Blacksburg, Virginia. Today's lunch menu is chicken tenders with roll, pizza, cheeseburger, submarine sandwich, whole grain roll, and broccoli. Cherry, is the box top race still going on? It sure is. The class that brings in the most box tops will receive a donut party. And the teacher will win a $100 gift card. 
The Summer Reading Book Fair continues today through Thursday. Speaking of the Book Fair, here's Allie. With South Florida's most comprehensive weather report, here's Dragon's Den AccuWeather. Hi, I'm Allie Gerson with your Dragon's Den AccuWeather. Today, I found two books. One is The River Between Us, and it's at $2 here at the book fair. I also found Teachers, another book called Elias, time, which is $2 here at the book fair. And also, today, there's going to be a contest going on for teachers. Ready? I'm going to pick the lucky teacher. And the winner is Miss Silverman. You won $25 in free books at the book fair. Okay, now let's get back to the weather. Today, it's going to be rainy with, with the temperature of 78 and a high of 85. Tonight, there's going to be scattered thunderstorms with a low around 74. If we take a look at our extended forecast, tomorrow, there's going to be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 85 and a low of 73. Wednesday, there's going to be scattered storms with a high of 86 and a low of 72. And Thursday, there's going to be isolated thunderstorms with a high of 84 and a low of 72. Remember, the book fair is open until May 17th, so come on out and get your books. I'm Allie Gerstman. Have a great day. Thanks, Allie. There will be track practice today. <laughs> the boys' volleyball team won their game on Friday, 25 to 19 and 25 to 23. Good job, Dragons. Tomorrow, the boys will be playing Carver Middle School. What are we supposed to do when there is a code red? I'm not sure, but check this out. Attention faculty and staff, attention faculty and staff. Be no. Guys, be quiet. At this time, please initiate your code red procedures. At this time, please initiate your code red procedures. Rachel, where do we go? Put her in the code bathroom. Attention faculty and staff, attention faculty and staff. Be no guys, be quiet. At this time, please initiate your code red procedures. At this time, please initiate your code red procedures. That's it for the Dragon's Den. For Allie, Elena, Drew, and the Dragon's Den crew, I'm Cherry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.